Marsha. Hi, I'm Amanda, and we're here to tell you about elapsed time. Elapsed time is how much time has passed through a start point and a finish point. Now we're going to go up to the board, and Amanda will show you how to do an elapsed time problem. Hi, thanks for that intro, Marshall. Here's an elapsed time problem. Marshall leaves school at 2.45 p.m. He eats dinner at 6.30 p.m. How much time passed between when he, ate, he left school and he ate dinner? Well, first we have to find out what time he leaves school, which is 2.45 p.m. And then we have to find the stopping time, which is 6.30 p.m. Then we have to make a number line with this. We take the starting time and put it at the beginning. Then we take the ending time and put it at the last. Now we have to find out how many minutes between is 2.45 and the next hour. So, the next hour is 3 o'clock. So, then we have to find out how, what period of time goes in between 2.45 and 3 o'clock. And that is 15 minutes. Then, we have to find out how much time goes between 6.30 and the previous hour, which is, well, first we have to put the 6 o'clock here, and it's a half an hour. Then we find out the hours of total, which is three hours. Then we have to add 30 minutes and 15 minutes together, which equals 45 minutes. Um, then we put three hours in the end. There you have it. Great job, Amanda. I'm going to have another example of a... Of a a lot of time problem, just longer. Okay. Amanda is driving to South Carolina. She leaves at 4.50 a.m. and she arrives at 9.20 p.m. How long did she drive for? Now I will figure out how long she drove for. Starting time
Thanks for joining us. I'm Marshall. I'm Amanda. And that was Elapsed Time.